Before Solomon died, he promoted one of his servants, a man by the name of Jeroboam. <laughs> Jeroboam had, a, had an ability just to, just to get things done. One day, Jeroboam met a prophet who was wearing a new coat. The prophet said to him, I have a message for you from the Lord. With that, he took off his new coat and ripped it into 12 pieces. He then gave Jeroboam 10 of those pieces and this message from God. He said, Solomon has left me so he could worship idols. Therefore, I am ripping the kingdom away from him. You will be the king over the northern ten tribes of Israel. I'm not taking all the tribes away from him because of David and because of Jerusalem. But his son will only rule over Judah. Now listen carefully. Follow me. Keep my commandments. If you do, I will be with you. And I will establish your kingdom. I will give you a lasting dynasty like I did David if you will follow me. Solomon heard about this prophecy and tried to kill Jeroboam. He ran away and escaped to Egypt and he stayed there until after Solomon died. Solomon had a son by the name of Rehoboam. After his father died, he, he went to Shechem so the northern tribes could, could anoint him king of, uh, of Israel. The people of Israel wouldn't meet with him until after they had sent for Jeroboam. When he arrived, they said, they said to Rehoboam, Your father put a yoke on us that was harsh. Promise us that you will lighten our load and lower our taxes, and we will gladly serve you. Rehoboam said, give me three days to think about this. After Jeroboam and the elders of Israel left, Rehoboam called in the older counselors, the ones who had served under his father Solomon. They said to him, Serve these people with all your heart. Be kind to them. They will, they will serve you for the rest of your life. He then sought the counsel of the younger men, the ones that he had that he had grown up with. They said, tell those rebels, my father was, was easy on you compared to me. My, my little finger will be heavier than his entire leg. He hit you with, with whips, but I will hit you with scorpions. Rehoboam, like this counsel. He rejected the counsel of the older men. He called in the elders of, of Israel and said, my father was easy on you compared to how I'll be. <laughs> he hit you with whips, but I'll hit you with scorpions. That's exactly what God wanted him to say. Jeroboam and the elders of Israel said, We have nothing to do with the, with the house of David. We're not from Judah. And they turned and left and went home. Rehoboam also went back to Jerusalem. 
short time after that, he, he uh, sent an official to the northern tribes to try to bring order. They took him, beat him, and they stoned him until he died. Then they formed a new nation and called it Israel. And they asked Jeroboam to be their king. Rehoboam organized an army from the tribes of Judah and, and Benjamin. They were going to invade the north to once, the, to once again bring them under the rule of Rehoboam. But before they could, the man of God stood before them. He said, hear the message from the Lord. Don't go fight your brothers because I have caused them to rebel against you. Instead, go home. The people listened to the man of God and went home.